Now, finally, March is about to end, yes, and March of the Mice is just about a few hours away, and we welcome in April, yes, that's my month. Good morning to you, and welcome to Joy News Interactive here on Joy News Channel on Multi TV. The show is also live on DSTV Channel 421, Go TV Channel 144. Join the conversation on social media. It's Joy News on TV. Now, my name is Miss G. I'm the Entertainment General. Get your phone, your tablet, and be ready because your comments are about to be read live here on air. So, he made history by becoming the first indigenous coach to lead the Black Stars to the World Cup, but paid the ultimate price for the team's inability to progress to the next round of the competition in Brazil. Now, he wants to be renamed Coach of the Stars. Having tendered him in his application, connoisseurs of the game have tipped him to be Evram Grant's successor since he's been there before. Knows the boys and can make the team great again. But what do you think of the former coach getting back his job? Let's get to see what you're saying on our Facebook page. And uh, we have uh, the coach in your shots, uh, and let's hear what you're saying. Raul says that, are we looking to build a formidable team capable of qualifying for any tournament and winning trophies, or we are looking for a black coach just for the sake of it? Let's do away with the sentiment and face reality. Kwesi Apia isn't the right choice and uh, this ghana team doesn't need a coach mr president offer them one player one miss ghana and the cup will flow like booty falls that's not fair and also the black man is capable of managing his own affairs based on this analogy i support the renaming of kwesi apia as a substantive coach for the black star job says hammond and also dixon says it would be nice if he is renamed as a coach of the black stars but i fear because of what happened during his first reign there was corruption and disrespect and uh, junior says gfa should never make such mistake he was and failed football is about proving not only uh, trials we are tired of trials in ghana football hashtag kwesi nyantechi must go and ankama says no, because he will not get much support from the Ghana Football Association. And due to that, he wouldn't put much effort in his duties. And uh, say that says everybody deserves a second chance. I'm sure he has learned his lessons. And Nana Kofisa Akodia says, a coach that cried when Kelvin Prince Watin used the F word to insult him uh, to be a coach, give Salas Tete a chance I think you're saying and uh, James Kneeboy Kwe says he should be given the chance but the salary must not be too much because it's a service to the nation he should because our money must remain in the country than it be given to uh, the white man says Muntala Amadu and uh, Dancer says I think so because he can't handle the boys looking at the nature of what happened in brazil 2014 and raul again says no let's move on forward ever backwards never and Wabin says i think he should be given another chance and i support says hogan and you see says why should it be yes big yes says lawrence aj yes says watch prince a big no from ben oakley and uh, yes from inketia yes who says yes
of who do you want to enjoy the fruit of your labor? Would you? Definitely, you want to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Why don't you join the masses of people who are involved in growing their own food? Yes, when you grow, you eat from where you grow. Having the choice to decide on what to get without having to go to the market and having the chance to sell what you did not buy or waste money to gain profits is what I'm talking about. Guess what? The government is making it easier for you as it wants more young men and women to get on board the farming train, to rake in money for themselves and export some to boost the economy. Good move, I should say. Let's get your thoughts on this from the streets. I think we in school, as students, when we see people farming and they are not what, we don't see anything like beauty around them, they are not well, they are not in good shape or they are not in good health. We think uh, farming is sort of a poor uh, occupation or something like that. Do you think we need to mechanize our grape to make it more, you know, attractive to young people? I, I was being born with Itadi, right? And when, way back Itadi, I used to um, follow my grandmother to farm. Mm. For you to stand in the sun for about 12 hours reading, you're going to find out that, hey, this is not something I wanted to do, mm. right? Really holding catalogs, holes and stuff like that, really. You said that you're going to find out that this is not what I want to do for my entire life, mm. right? So because of that, if to me, as, as, as I'm standing here, um, I don't see it as profitable in any So right now, the government says, look, we've, we've, we've provided the implement, the farming implements, the machinery and everything, and we want you anymore to go into farming. Would you love to do that? <laughs> Nowadays, the youth, um, the, um, going into farming does not look really lucrative because it's more of labor intensive. If you are not in the office, like Cocoa Body, if you are not in the office, Okay, you, you want to be not, you want to be a cocoa boy. Oh, not really. But <laughs> okay. then, if you are not in the office where you get that amount of money, if you are on the field, if you are on the field, you are the one doing most of the work. Your work is labor intensive than you being in the office. So it doesn't really look lucrative, even though they reduce the prices of this farm implement. Oh, Joanne, some people actually think that it's. A lot of the youth that we have now are so much obsessed with white-collar jobs and they don't want to have anything to do with blue-collar jobs. So they just want to sit in the office, you know, with their pen and their air-conditioned office and all of that. They don't want to get, you know, onto the field and then do anything. Do you think it's an obsession with the youth? Well, I think... Um with the youth having uh, the youth having that obsession, it's not their fault because uh, we've made farming look like, um, uh, let me say, a poor man's job. Mm. That's why the youth uh, prefer the white colored job. All right, so those are voices from the streets of Ghana concerning growing your own crops and making boosting the economy by selling some of it and having much to eat. At home and let's come to Facebook and read your comments concerning this and as Solomon Gilbert says uh, uh, we want to also occupy positions such as one even more than the president of the land you think that you should think and Mutala says they want us to grow old we des also deserve Borches and uh, uh, Kabna Kabna says more than good move. Ghana will work again. And and Kama says good motive. Geoffrey Godfrey uh, Godfrey Mensa says very good move. Very good move from Godfrey um, Mensa. So those are some of your comments on Facebook concerning whether you would choose to do the back or not. So on that note, we'll take a break when we're back. There's still more here on Joy News Interactive. All right, welcome back to Joy News Interactive. Remember the President Akufuado's advice to Ghanaians not to rely on miracles alone if they want to succeed. You remember that, right? The President says... Work hard, pray, 
because God will reward your efforts with success. There's been this back and forth on this issue. Well, the General Secretary of the Christian Council of Ghana has waded in. Dr. Opini says he will sack any of his workers who, instead of working, will be doing church business. What do you make of the statement? And we are coming to Facebook to read your comments. And uh, Her Hetero says, For so long we have allowed laziness to creep in to our lives in search of miracles and breakthroughs. We fear the devil more than God. It's about time we change our mentality and adopt more Christ-like thinking and work hard. And Kama says, fantastic approach personally because the perception of most Christians nowadays is that the thing being in church will make them rich without, without forgetting the saying that God helps those who help themselves. That's not in the Bible anyway. Derek Echo Sam says, I don't know about the sacking, but he's on point with the message. There's time for everything. Doing the right thing at the wrong time is just wrong. And Elon Fumer says, common logic should tell one they don't use working hours for prayers when you have to work. The Bible teaches us the basic truth. And Batwoski says, uh, oh, he's on point. No sane human will use work time for church. Everyone goes to church when he's free or resting. The Bible says God rested on the seventh day. Going to church on a weekday is not wrong if you have nothing to do. And Elvis Dedu Boatin says, I strongly agree with him per what the Bible says about time constraints. Check Ecclesiastes 3. One, two, nine. Even the time Noah was building the ark, he was working at the same time. And it's in the right direction. There is time for everything, says Kweku uh, Ano. And Gilbert Asalom says, I support the man of God. Do what is right at the right time and please. K Chinese says, there is time for everything. Time to pray and a time to work, says Peter. And the cross says, easier said than done. A typical African attitude. So those comments are coming from you on our Facebook page. Good move from Amadou Motala. <laughs> Join it interactive. We're still in the month of March. Before we say bye to March, let's do Gagana Man trivia. Let's read our clues on Facebook. And I can be found 30 kilometers north of Accra on the Equiapim Hills at 1,200 feet elevation. In the colonial times, I was used as a retreat for official visitors and others who needed to escape the hustle and bustle of the big city. My host town has a comfortable weather similar to that of the fall in the northeastern part of the United States, coast of France or Germany during the summertime. Who am I and where can I be found? Is a question we are asking you here on Join News Interactive. Let's see your answers for our Ghana Month trivia. So let's see what you've got to say to us. Now, I mean, Henrik says, every botanical gardens in the eastern region, the same road leading to Ekriapim. Every botanical gardens in the eastern region says Ekriya Blessing. And Panya says every botanical gardens at Ebri in the eastern region. And also Yedi region says Amadu Mutala. And uh, Ebri botanical gardens from Baden. Asalam Gilbert says Ebri botanical gardens. And Salasi Kumako says uh, Ebri gardens of stretch Jamaica and uh, Pediasi Lodge Ebri and Ebri Gardens in the eastern part of Ghana says Ankama and uh, Isaac Ephraim says Ebri Botanical Gardens Adrian Yedu says Mount Mary Somanya and uh, Hadia Bama says Ebri Botanical Gardens answers from you concerning our trivia for today which definitely is the Ebri Botanical Gardens so that know we take a break we are back with more here on Join News Interactive. Stay.
Welcome back to Joy News Interactive. We are live on the Facebook page and you can post your comments on Joy News on TV is the handle to find us with. Now, it's time for us to go for our picture of the day. It's Thursday and we are throwing back on this picture that would excite you very much. Let's see it. So, picture of the day, throwback Thursday and is a poster, Ghana Freedom Party motto. Love and unity. Vote GFP with Ecuadonco behind the man who, who so the man is in, in front, but the name on the poster is Ecuadonco as MP for Ebuakwa North constituency. Free port, free education, free everything, etc. That is our picture for the day. Now let's see your comments. And um, Ferguson says, and the man himself is what? Councillor to Nana Ado or Donald Trump. And uh, it looks like a wedding invitation card. Love and unity. Pa Chai. And Asemo, Ghana politics. A year fool. And um, um, Kote says, illiterate Dawson or Ghana. Ha, pa. And wow. Where is this guy's name on the poster? On the poster? You're asking. Nankama says, ha, ha, ha. Like, seriously? Like, duh. And... Um, Comic Relief says Richard, and uh, Polo says, ha, ha, ha. Very funny. I laugh, enter Facebook, says Abigail Sapon. Unthinkable ambition. Alfred Cranston says so. And Josephine says, free food, free wife or husband, etc. Ha, ha, ha. And uh, Nana Kwame says, okay, so a lot of you are posting smileys, uh, laughing at the picture of the day. I guess uh, those are the comments you've posted to us on uh, Facebook and um, wow well, look at all these people also want to serve Ghana Ahmed Opoku is saying comic relief from Gilbert Aslam and uh, it looks like an obituary you're saying this woman passed she's just a comedian and Amadou Mutala says that I love enter free SHS says Montago and Johnson says ha 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 Atupa Jane and uh, wow from uh, Kwajo Yao and the laugh out loud from Kweku Ado also uh, Saki says laugh out loud and Pika Pepebi says so who is contesting as MP you are asking us but the poster tells it all. Mm -hmm.